Welcome back to an Outline Series through Pisces. Keep in mind if it is not your story, acknowledge and move on. Starting with Elemental Quickies. If you are dealing with another Aries Leo or Pisces or Aries Leo Sag, maybe it will be a Pisces as well. Okay, this person is becoming more optimistic. They want to have a talk with you. They're coming in for a, hopefully, what they're hoping is a breakthrough, but it's a very serious conversation. One more. Yeah, this is possibly offering a little bit of a peace gesture. This is definitely somebody that's more on the optimistic side that wants to talk about probably long term. But it can also be an apology. So that actually looks like a decent apology, but very serious. Very serious. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Here we are. Here we are. Okay. Knight of Cups reverse, two more. This person's disappointed and wanting things to go forward between the two of you. They feel like it would be their wish fulfillment. They want to be happy, but they're disappointed. Mm -hmm. It also might be that you're just not interested. Let's see what you have to say. Two Pentacles. You're thinking about it. So it's like, well, I guess, you know, they're like, it's like they've already asked you and you're kind of like, oh, I got to think about it. Bottom of the deck. I don't think you're interested. I just don't think you are. So it's like leaving that person kind of, not leaving them hanging, just not interested. Not interested. Death. Yeah, no. Just not interested. <laughs> Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Somebody's got the hots for you, and you're saying a no. All right, nine of coin. Jilly, are you being picky? Four of cups. Let them be picky. This is somebody that wants their singleness. This is a player. This is somebody that, I mean, they come in, they talk, they pour it on thick. I do think that they seem like they're going to be honest about the fact that they're just looking to screw, basically. They're not looking for anything else. They wouldn't even consider anybody is an option it's not that they wouldn't consider you as an option as far as long-term dating they're just so in so in their oats not ready for anything serious heavy on the aries and they're like fa la la on the, the next one notch in the belt be careful okay taurus virgo and capricorn all right a little more serious here Okay, so this person, again with the optimism, heavy on the Leo. This person wants a second chance with you. They consider you to be the one for them. This is saying new dating or reconciliation. This is somebody that wants to boss up, feels like you're their soulmate, can be coming in for that second opportunity, but it can be a brand new chapter, and they're very optimistic that this could go to long term. The King of Pentacles is very reliable. This person wants to... They feel like the two of you are a perfect match. Aww. Growing feelings. So this can be asking out or reconciliation. This can be a deep bond. I would think that you would be meeting that person out and about. Just because of the cards that we have up here. A lot of movement, but a lot of emotion too. The, the Emperor is very stable and so is the King of Pentacles. That does look nice. All right, so we are doing singles today. Let's see what the Wookiees got for singles. Okay. Have a good lunch. Oh, Jesus. And thigh hickeys. Well, isn't that an appropriate uh, pair? So we have religious, cultural differences, dreads. That's culturally and different, all right. Secret admirer. Secret admirer. That's religious with dreads. Okay. Rastafarian. And bon appetit. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the overall energy of the chariot. That's determination. This is your overall energy. Now, this also can be a cancer coming in your direction. That's a real, real go getter. Oof. Oof. Oof is right. Oof, oof, oof. Look at this. Cut of the deck. You got the two of. <laughs> Hush, Wookie. Somebody that wants to date you, has interest in you, definitely. Okay, so let's see who is coming their way towards our single Aries. Single Cancer Scorpio Pisces, heavy on that Cancer. It's this person's intention. 
see where things go. So it's like, I'm interested in you. Let's see where this goes. They feel like it's a sure thing. They definitely got the hotties for you. And then you got, I want to offer you love. So this is definitely the beginning stages of dating. Can this move forward? Oh, hell yes, it can. Look at that. Just flipped out. Can be a Gemini as well. But that's saying that this person definitely feels one hell of a bond with you. You got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces very heavily here. Gemini and then Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oof. What will our Aries think of this person? That's definitely new dating. You're like, bring it to mama. Bring it to daddy. This can be gatherings. Okay, so it can be out, sell, a lot of with the celebrations lately. Getting out of the house. But it does seem like something that you've been manifesting. That's saying, bring it on. Yesterday. Brum, brum, bring it. Bring it. A lot of quick movement. This could be very soon that you meet this person. Nice. So you want them to initiate or you want to initiate contact with this person. There's no holding back. No, no. All right. And then you have strength and the hermit. I feel like this is somebody that you want to really, really get deep with. Okay. Really uh, want uh, to get to show She said deep. Cut of the deck. You have the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Coins. So this would be, you, they have the Ace of Cups. It's more romantic. You're being more practical, but you're basically inviting it in. Wanting to have a deep connection, feeling emotional ties. This is beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. Wow, 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 wow. <coughs> Can't even touch this. This is, Get wow. So it does feel like you need to get out. There can be a distance that this person travels, but the determination is strong on both sides. This is a mutual feeling of, I really am interested in you. I want to see where this goes. I feel like you're a lot more on the serious. So this person's offering love and you're more on the serious side going, okay, I've really put my work into this. You better be worth it. But we have Gemini, Aries, Leo Sagittarius, heavy on the Leo here, Cancer, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is the soulmate connection. So is that lover's card. You got one, they got one. This is somebody that you should have very communic, you know, the communication should be very good. It feels like you really want to get deep with this person, you know, really wanting to get into the emotional ties, heavy on the Virgo. Heavy on the Leo. Let's get a timing card for you guys. When are we going to meet Romeo or Juliet? When do we meet Romeo or Juliet? Okay. Let's see what we have. We have March. And then we have one to two months. So you could be meeting them anytime. Like right after the holidays. Up until March. It might be that you meet them soon. And then things start getting a little bit more serious. Or picking up around March. Very, very nice energy for singles. That was a beautiful read. Not so sure about um, the Bon Appetit and the Thigh Hickeys. I guess that's going to be a, at your discrepancy. Discretion. Fine, discretion. Secret Admirer, that can be that Page of Cups. So this person could have had their eye on you for a while and finally get up the balls to do it. Dreads, you'll have to let us know in comments if you're interested. <coughs> and then you have Religious... Okay, that also can be that hermit feeling as well. Somebody that, yes, yeah, really getting deep. I like it. I like it. All right. That's what we have for you, single Aries, and on we go. Okay, Tauruses, elemental quickies if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Two more, Source. Two more. For the record, she's being a pervert tonight. I am. Blaming it on me. Ah, it's his own fault. Okay, so this is somebody that wants to merge. They want to hang out. They want harmony. They definitely want to hang out with you. They want to get on the same page. They are very sexually interested in you. Hotty toddy, okay? Looks like they're going to be chasing you. Right underneath of that, you have the lovers. So it can also be a Gemini or a Sagittarius. But this is somebody that has intention of hanging around and wanting things to work out. It looks very nice can also be that this person is extremely outgoing or seeing you that way as well. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This card wants to come out. Ooh, 
Wow, we like that card. We like that card too. Look at that. Wow, okay. This is a very serious offer of new dating. Very or, serious. very serious. Or, I mean, look at this is intense energy, guys. This is either a reconciliation or a new chapter. So if you are single, this is somebody offering you everything. Really being honest, really being honest and offering a secure dating. Nice, 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 nice. We're gonna leave judgment in here. So that is one hell of an offer. I mean, it almost kind of goes that way, but Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius with the world here, this person wants a beginning. They want to start things up. They're definitely interested in you. Bottom of the deck, you have justice. This could be a right one for you. It looks nice. Heavy on that Libra as well. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Wow, guys. <laughs> Ten of Cups. So this person thinks about family. They think about long term. You could meet them at a gathering. This is somebody that definitely wants long term, but there is that feeling of get out, go to gatherings. Okay. Tens, I usually, especially the Ten of Pentacles and Cups, I think of as groups of people. This is somebody that already may have a crush, but starting small, so it can be a secret crush crush. But they finally kind of get the balls up, or when they meet you, they go, ha, oh, I need to know who that is. Need to know who that is. I want to move this forward. This is somebody that feels like it could move into love using their intuition, and they definitely have their eyeball on you. Very determined. Very nice energy, you guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Three out of four are beautiful. All right, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn source. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Ooh, flying goes justice. Heavy on the Libra. This is somebody that, again, with the wanting a future, wanting things to be stable, wanting generosity between the two of you, very curious if you are interested. This is somebody that can see a future with you. This is like the scales are right in this little old man's hand here, and justice always holds the scales. This is somebody that's very eager and curious initiating action they're fearless coming in saying woohoo let's do this it's like two people turning their back on the rest of the world and going I feel like this is the right thing let's do it very beautiful oh my gosh wow you guys have some really nice elemental quickies okay let's see what the Wookiees got for you singles okay what do we got Wookie Wookie games oh. And rip my panties off. Okay. Not sure. Um, very so, good. We also have a long haired male. Long haired male or female. Who could be a narcissist. Oh shit. With colored hair. Okay. And petite. Petite. <laughs> well, okay then. Let's grab a clean deck. So you have a long haired midget narcissist oh, coming for, for you. Sake. Very nice. Down. I'm getting a fly swatter to beat him. <laughs> He's still over there giggling. Okay, so we have the overall energy of the Wheel of Fortune, so that should be beautiful energy coming your way. It's good luck. It's a turning point. There is somebody that you are choosing not to talk to, though, however, that seems to be here and still has emotions towards you or they still want to talk to you. This is somebody that still considers you. I mean, it's like a Klingon ex, okay? Is it Fabio the narcissistic it's, Oh, okay. They want to spend time with you. This is, um, I'm feeling that you have healed or still are healing from this person. So let's see what we get. Source, what's coming towards our singles? Singles. Okay. We have the High Priestess. All right. That's using your intuition. That can be a Pisces. That also can be a secret crush. What else? Tell us more about the High Priestess. Ooh, and the Fool. So this person is interested in dating. Heavy on the Aries, heavy on the Pisces. Do we know this person? Yes, apparently you do. Eight of Coins. Seven of Coins. This was just for a yes-no, so we're not taking it, but we will take this one here. 
this is somebody that wants to start things out okay so you might be aware of them because we did clarify that but it's like they want to plant the seeds see where this can go they want to take a chance with you they might be a little bit shy or holding back a little bit or using their intuition trying to see if you're interested why do we have the high priestess ace of swords they they want clarity. They might be concerned that you're still hold, you know holding up and still hung up on your ex. You got the nine of coins, so you might have made it very clear that you didn't want to date after the last uh, episode that you had with somebody else that you were defensive against. Okay, we're gonna put this down here by your energy. This is somebody that does want to break through, break those walls down. Two of Wands. It's like you got choices. This feels like this person or you have been manifesting whether you know and realize it or not. Wow. <coughs> Let me see how much space I got here with all the cards. All right. So this is very nice energy. This person's very determined and does feel like this is a connection that would pay off. But they still want clarity. How will you view this person? Okay, you got the Four of Wands. We're putting that right there. And you also have the King of Coins. So you consider them to be reliable, strong. There really is a feeling of this person being shy. The High Priestess and the Hermit. Oh, and you got the Two of Cups at, right at the bottom of the deck with the Nine. Ha ha. No, X. No, 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 no. You got the Knight of Wands right here too. So this is like you're almost a little bit more open or open or outgoing than this person. I feel like they want to get very emotionally deep very quickly. This feels like somebody that you would be content with. This looks absolutely fantastic. The Four of Wands can be a gathering. We have the season upon us for that, yes. But it also can be that twin flame soulmate connection. And this looks absolutely fantastic. Wow. Not sure about the narcissistic crap. I'm feeling that's more of an X. Cut of the deck, nine of wands, clarifying, yes. Somebody that is, uh, mm, made you feel like you just couldn't trust anybody. It took a long time for you to stop feeling so guarded and didn't want to deal with the arguments. They just exhausted you. That's the person that made you kind of say I'm never dating again I've had enough of this shit you know taking care of yourself and nobody else and then just guarding your heart and that's okay but holy crap as soon as you change your mind ho oh, ho oh. but that is what has to happen you have to be more open you get the two of swords here so this person's a little bit more are you ready for, for dating? Because, oh my gosh, I, you know, they really, they're watching, watching from a distance. So this is somebody that's got a closet crush and growing emotions can be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You guys have beautiful energy. Is anything reversed? Nothing, nothing reversed. Beautiful energy. So if you were dealing with a narcissist, this is not. This is somebody that's... Definitely wanting to take this opportunity. They want to jump in, have fun. I do feel like with the hermit here, you might be going, wow, this person's really deep into this connection with me. Oh my gosh, it makes you feel so good. And I really am just fascinated. And it's basically saying you're motivated to keep this person initiated. Yes, keep bringing it. Who manifested between you and this person? Probably more so them. But this is nonetheless initiation and feeling like they have control over a situation, control over their... So they're trying to control their emotions before they jump in and they don't want to make a fool out of themselves. They want to make sure because this is the type of person that does not date for peace vast. They date with intention of long term and that is home. That is home. They also might like spending a lot of time at home, but this is somebody that wants to know what's up. They want to know what's up. This is good luck moving forward. You have beautiful energy. So we have Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Once the communication opens up, it's just like the, the love arrows just keep coming. And boy, you are the choice. This was just for a yes, no, but it is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. Heavy on the Virgo. Like I said, this person could have uh, be on the quiet side. I'm not saying resting bitch face necessarily, but this is beautiful energy, even just to begin with. A pivotal point 
It's like, poof, there they are. Let's get a timing card for you. Ooh, ooh la la. Ooh la la. What do we have for timing source? After a big change and five to six months. All right, my Tauruses, that's what we have, you guys. Oh, that's so sweet. Sweet. We like it. Have a good rest of your Friday. On we go. All right, Gemini, elemental quickies. Are you dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag? Source, what do we have for fire signs? Ooh. This person's curious. This is either starting a new chapter or they're coming in hot and heavy for uh, reconciliation. How do you view them? You're not sure what to think of them. So you're kind of holding it in. But, ooh, they're eager to come in and talk to you. So that's going to be up to you. Because that person definitely is its a go there. Oh, my. It's like bringing it up, talking it out. It's like you can't shut them up once you start them. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Chariot. We have the, oh, my, the Star. And we have Justice. This person is dreaming about you feeling like you're the right one and wanting they're very determined to get at you they feel like you could be the right one cut of the deck you have the three of pentacles they want to get on the same page they want things to work out they got the hots for you so i would say this person's going to chase you they have a lot it's like they feel they feel like you're the right one how will you view them they could be <laughs> That's basically saying at least that they're a decent person and have good morals and values. Sure the hell looks good to me. So you have Cancer, Aquarius, and Libra in there. That's some major nice energy. Wow. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Source. All right. You have somebody with a serious discussion about the future. This is somebody that you've had combat with before. All right, what does this person want to, I mean, they want to discuss bringing this on or being done. Let's get a little more clarification. No, they're coming in. So they might feel like you're ticked off at them and that you're not going to reply to them and let them know what you're thinking. They want to compromise. This is saying, I want to get back together in a nutshell. You're a little bit more reserved since this ending. It could have been a lot of different things, but they want to make a new offer to you, and they're being very serious about it. And this, so this is a very serious apology and wanting to compromise. It's really going to be up to you, again, with that feeling of it. They do want to come back, though. So with the world here, it can be Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, but very serious energy, very serious, resting bitch face you talk. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Okay. We have the Two of Cups reversed. So there's been oh, Sneaky Fucky and... No, that's a player. So this person and you could have been in a connection. This caused a breakup. They got busted. In a nutshell. They got busted screwing around. This is saying that you're dropping this person. Can be a Capricorn. You just don't trust them. You're holding your ground. You are not giving this person the time of day right now. It's like, I'm not going to be treated like an option. They think they know what they want. No, but no, they don't. They don't know what they want. Uh-uh. They're not doing anything to come your direction anyway. This is somebody that's in and out, in and out, and full of shit. Got busted. All right, let's see what the Wookiees got for singles today. FaceTime pleasures. Okay. Vampire sex. Oh my. Gemini, I didn't know. Mm. Divine masculine. Freckles. <coughs> Skin marks. Mm. And mature. Mature. Oh, we like that. Okay. Let's make sure we can see that. Okay. So we have the overall energy of the star. That's optimism. That's positivity. With a cut, you have the Ace of Swords. This is somebody that wants a breakthrough with you. This is basically like, I will continue. I will promise. I will continue. I will bring this up. We're pulling it out. This is somebody that wants 
generosity between the two of you. Very nice energy. All right, so you have potentially an Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Very nice. All right, what is this person's intention? Intention. Okay. Oh, boy. So it's somebody that either they're not done with their ex or they feel like you aren't done with your ex. But they want to come in with love. Well, let's get some clarification. It seems like one or the other had an ending, and the other's like, no, 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 I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. And the other one's going, I don't know that I'm buying it. You have the Empress here. It can be a Libra Taurus. All right, tell us more about this Ten of Swords reversed. Five of Swords. This is somebody that, okay, and that can be you that they had an argument with. Their intention right now it's like they're offering this, but they've got this energy of not being done with something else or accusing you of not being done. It really feels like they are either going back to their ex or think that you are going back to your ex. Seven of Swords. I feel like they're holding back on their feelings. I don't know that I trust it. It looks like that maybe they don't trust you. Let's see what you think of this person. Nine of Swords, they put you all up in your head, but you feel like they're somebody that you do want to put work into. One more with the Nine of Swords. Why do they make you all anxious? Nervous. Four of Pentacles, you don't know if you want to open up to this person at all. It's almost like they're calling you out. Like, does this have any hope at all? One more for the Six of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. This is somebody that really wants long term. Now, if this is your ex, it's saying that they want you back. But if it were, it doesn't look like you want this person in your life. You get judgment reversed. It's like, don't even bring it up with me. Mm -mm. You're not going to have your way. Nine of Wands. I'm very guarded against you. New upright. Okay, it is new. Is this person over their ex? Yes. Reverse. Okay. They are over their ex. So it's almost like they feel like they have, you know, it's almost like you're saying, are you, both of you, I'm feeling accus accusative on both sides. One more for your eight of pentacles, because it is something that you do want to work out. Three of cups. That's bringing things back together, but you're still, you know, you got the devil here. You're still wondering, are you really done with your person? There's a feeling of anxiety. It's like, are you really offering love or here again, death? Are you done? Are you done with your ex? There's a concern about this and you're questioning them. It's like, yeah, that's great that you're sexually interested in me, but is this going anywhere? Six of Cups, you are really up in your air. It's like you're up in the air going, are you still stuck on your ex? Are you Because I know you're t still talking. It's like you are you don't trust this person to be over the ex, and it's got you really in knots in your gut going, I'm not dealing with this shit. Can this go anywhere? Nine of Wands, and then the Five of Wands. There'd have to be a lot of compromise. This person is over their ex, but there's a lot of argumentative crap and accusations here. One more. Three of Swords. And it's all around somebody being done with their ex or not. And it makes you feel stuck. Not the best energy. Uh-uh. The Eight of Swords is like you can't... It could be that you saw a message on their phone or see a message on their phone and whatever it is, you just can't unsee it. And yet you want attention from this person and you want them to be fair. It's like you want a fair chance with this person, but you still feel defensive. And still worried about them going back to their ex. I don't care what they say. You're worried about, it's like, are you even wanting to be date? There's a lot of defensive energy in here. I would be very cautious with this. This person comes off small. 
they might not have this long-term intention. You could be meeting them at a, a gathering or a party, but I'm feeling like this person is just hands off for a little bit longer. They want you to stroke their ego. They want a lot of attention, but I see that you have more doubt on it. You're interested, but you're like, is this going anywhere? I don't know. I think I'd be careful here. Anything else they need to know? Just flippers. There's that two of pentacles. This is something that seems like it goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It also can mean that this person's been on and off, on and off, on and off, talking and then not talking to their ex. I still have, you know, they just want to be happy, but is it with their ex? can be that their ex is after their ass too, and then, you know, causing issues between the two of you and you're trying to get things off the ground. Seven of Cups reversed. They keep telling you it's not, I'm not treating you like an option. I want a future with you. I feel like there's, I'm really feeling like that's bullshit behind your back and that's the ex just trying to cause issues because they don't want this person to be done. <sighs> Which leaves you in this, I got to really rethink this. It's like this is a brand new connection and it's all over the fucking map and they're like, I will, I will, I will and I want this to be great. And then you're going, but, 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 what about your ex? You seem like you're not, no, your ex keeps fucking pestering you. Why? Why? Why does this keep happening? But it still seems like they want to have something that works into long-term dating. I just think there needs to be a serious, serious conversation. Because I feel like this person just doesn't want to deal with their ex, but they almost have to. There can be children with that page in there that are involved here, but this person keep, it's like the ex just keeps sticking interference in it, and it's making you go, I don't know if I want to deal with any of this shit. It's like, I really dig you, and this is great, but this is really kind of a pain in the ass. Iffy energy. Ay vey. All right, let's call out the cards here. They still have hope. They could be promising you that they are being straight up and that they do want a generous connection with you and they want this and you want this, but you are all up in your head and anxious about it. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a lot of swords in here, a lot of thinking, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's a lot of passion here, Scorpio. But the X is a pain in the fucking ass. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Gemini, Libra, Pisces. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Libra. Libra. Leo. The Wheel of Fortune, you know, it's like, this is a pivotal, this is going to end up being this pivotal point where it's like, I, are we going some, is this going somewhere or not? You know, it's almost, uh, you can't make somebody choose between you or the ex if there's children involved because they're always going to have to deal with kids. They're always going to have to deal with the, the children, but they are saying, I'm done with this connection. Scorpio. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And there again, wondering, are you getting back? You know, are you just bullshitting me? Are you screwing with me? Capricorn, a lot of defensive energy here. There needs to be more clear communication. More clear communication. Vampire sex, I don't know so much about that. All right, let's get a timing card. When do we meet this crazy person? Source. July to November. Okay, that was quite something there, Geminis. A lot going on there with that person. On we go. Cancers, elemental quickies if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Swords reverse. This person's kind of acting crappy. They feel like you're never going to open up to them and that you're going to friend zone them. So they're kind of being an asshole. Mm -hmm. I don't think you're interested. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Seven of Pentacles. This person wants to see where things could go. Oh, it's a Tower reverse though. So they want to try again. 
This is this person being a bit hard to please, though. So is it really worth it? They're coming in like, I will conquer cancer. I will have you back. How do you view this person? They could have put you in a third-party situation, but you don't trust them. Mm -mm. You're avoiding confrontation with that person. One more. Eight of Swords, you're just letting it go. You're dropping it. You're like, nope, not happening. Not again. Not dealing. They're in denial. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right, we got the King of Wands reversed. So this person's acting kind of like a schmuck. Why are they being a schmuck? Uncompassionate, conceited, immature. I feel like they're flirting with somebody else. Yep, they are. This is somebody that doesn't know what the hell they want. So they're like, well, you know, I got this choice and that choice. They're being conceited. They're all playing around. They're, they're not wanting just one thing. Things aren't going so well for them. This could be somebody that you had a breakup with. But this is like saying you don't trust them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. What's after the 10? What's after the 10? Yeah, this is saying that, you know, this wasn't going anywhere, that it was going too slow, and you questioned their reliability, and it shows. It's like, no, they're immature, don't want it, mm-mm. What the hell? All right. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorns. You guys had such a nice energy the other day. There's that wheel reversed. Poor me, woe is me. Everything doesn't go my way. Everything goes for shit. You're not even Aww. talking to me. Wah, wah, wah. It's not fair. I want to be happy. Wah, 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 wah. This person feels like you're holding back from them and they want this to continue. How do you view this person? He, you're dropping the, you're dropping it. That's the devil. It can be a Capricorn heavily, but it's like, I'm not dealing with this shit anymore. I don't even love you anymore. I don't feel the same way anymore. Or that your emotions just got in the way of what they were doing and you tolerated it too, way too long. This is somebody that you are just holding your energy back from. You don't trust them. You think they're off the rocker. It's like, no, I'm not getting back together with you. I don't trust you. Wow. The Wookiee element. The incoming energy. Major trust issues. Players and that's better. Oh, that's a connection between two people incoming. Can be a Cancer, Gemini. This is somebody that's very determined to have a deep bond. Very respectful bond. And this can be somebody that you meet at a gathering, but they're wanting long term. So this is somebody that does want family. Can be Taurus Virgo Capricorn as well. Somebody that you will not have to always be worried about. It's like you'll be able to let they they're gonna help you or make you let your walls down. Mm-hmm. That looks nice. We'll take that. And then at the bottom of the deck we have the four of wands and Themperinth. You know that Themperinth card. This is saying merging, bringing things together, taking taking it slow, making sure that you're comfortable with it. I mean, they come in hot with a lot of determination, but they are willing to be patient with you. So they know that you've been through a bunch of shit. But heavy on the Sagittarius, Gemini, and Cancer, Sagittarius, or, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So the new energy that is coming in is better than what the hell you're dealing with now. All right, let's see what the Wookiees got for singles today. Okay, Wookie, what do you have for cancers? Passion and aggression. Oh, hot sex. Thong around your neck. Oh, thong around. The thong thong. The thong, the thong thong. The thong thong. Kinky. Didn't know, <sighs> cancer. All right, so we have mixed race. Beauty marks, green eyes, and distinctive brows. Ooh, hot it's not brows. Freaking unibrow. That is not a unibrow. Leave it alone or I'll get the wax out. Can't handle that. Okay, so you have the overall energy singles of justice. That's looking for the right one. Aw. Cut of the deck. 
you have passion. It does look like right underneath of that, it's like, I'm ready for something new. I'm done with the old and in with the new. So let's see what we get. Now, this can be a Libra that's coming your direction, but it could be the feeling Bro. of a right person, somebody that takes accountability for their actions. But it's like, I'm looking for the right person. So who is coming towards our cancer source? Who is coming towards our singles? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody that wants to work things out with you can be somebody that you actually work with. This is somebody that wants things to move forward. Ooh, right underneath the... Oh, my. This is somebody that is very determined. Very determined. It's like, I will have this. I will move this forward with you. I will get on the same page with you. I really am interested in you. I am willing to put a lot of work into this. This is really nice energy. With the overall of justice, this is an honest person. That is honesty, clarity, and a breakthrough. And this person is very determined. Now, they can be at a physical distance from you. can be just a cancer. Wow. Intent. Oof. This is somebody that their intention is long-term. Straight up. So they have a crush on you and they want to see where it goes. You got the page of cups at the bottom of the deck. This is that's all upright. Wow. Very nice. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sag, heavy on the Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a very serious offer. This person really wants to. Now they're playful and, you know, but this is turning your back on the rest of the world and going, I really want to see where this goes. Anticipation of a future, anticipation of a breakthrough. Oh, how do you view this person? Let's see what you got. You're willing to give this a shot. That's the seven of coin, seven of pentacles. It's like, this is worth my while. This could really go somewhere. This is somebody that you are sexually interested in. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it's planting those seeds and see where it goes. You get the hots for them. This also can be you feeling the chase. <laughs> Your feelings as this moves forward. Let's see how you'll, oh my. You're going to feel like this is the right person for you. You feel like they're a decent person. Bottom of the deck, now you have, look at that. You have the sun. So optimism moving forward, that's happiness. That's joy. Feeling like you are a good team, that you work well together, that, you know, it's a lot of fun, a lot of passion, but that it's a decent person. Once they break your walls down and the uh, attention gets rolling, and you got the ten, you have the ten of, pentacles the lovers and the knight of cups this person's intention is love with the intention of long term you are definitely going yes i feel like you're a decent person i feel like we could get on the same page yes i feel like this is definitely worth investigating definitely good 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 energy so yes new dating can be a Leo, it does seem that once this comes in, it just, the, the messaging in the back and forth, it's energetic and fun. Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy on the possible commitment there too. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer. I think you guys had all uprights. This is beautiful energy for new dating and getting on the same page, and it could be a right one. I'm not saying you're going to marry the person, but they definitely have the potential of being marriage material. Very, very, very nice. Let's get a timing card. Timing card. All right, source. When might we meet this person? Okay, we have one to two months to June. So a little bit of a wait, but oh, that looks like it's worth the wait. All right, Cancers, very nice energy. On we go. All right, Leos, elemental quickies. Are we dealing with another Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius? Source. For the record, Joy, no, we're not making candy. No, we're not making candy. Eh. Shush, Wookie. I'm giving her a candy cane later. Oh She's lucky. Lord. Quiet. This no. is somebody that's just done. I think they're just moving on. They're not offering anything. One more. That or there's one hell of a delay. No, I don't think you trust this person anyway. They could have gotten busted, but they're candy assing and going a different direction. Speaking of candy. Heavy on the Pisces, but this person's not offering squat. Let them go. 
I don't think that it's like there's deception. This person could have emotional depression issues as well. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's compromise. Let's make this work. I've got the hots for you. What do you have to compromise on? I don't feel like this person's compromising on shit. They have the Six of Pentacles reversed. It's all about them. No, I think you'll drop that like it's hot. You don't have any interest in this shit. Eight of Pentacles reversed. It's like, don't even waste my time. I'm not even looking your direction. You're, it's like, I'm not, I'm not going to even focus on you. Go away. Go away. You consider that person to be... An attention whore and just looking for one thing. It's like they're all talk. They want the action, but it's all talk. Nah. Nah. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Better. The Empress. The Two of Cups. The Sun. This can be a reconciliation between two people. Also could have been a choice between two people. So it can be... A reconciliation after somebody made you an option but uh, I'm not feeling that I'm feeling like this person really is interested in you and only you it's like only has eyes for you wanting to move forward initiate contact and make you you know sit on the throne and adore the hell out of you that's growing emotions starts with new dating this person wants to you know soul connection that's love that's optimism and hope and faithful and beautiful energy Heavy on the Leo, Gemini, Libra, and Taurus. Very nice. I like that. What will you think of that? Cut of the deck. Ten of Cups. So that is something that you would feel is abundance. I like it. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, boy. Well, here comes the devil. Came out sideways. Definitely can be a Capricorn. We also have the chariot here. That was that candy ass before, okay? Right at the bottom, we have them trying to come in for a second opportunity. But I feel like they're a fucking player. This is somebody that maybe... Yeah. They're, you don't even see them as an option. You, it's like, I don't even want to see you. This is saying that they could have other options or treated you like an option. You got two. They had needed to make a choice. It looks like they made a choice and it was kind of fucking stupid. You got the fool reversed here. This is somebody that screws with other... They're immature. They screw with people's emotions. They don't take accountability for... for no, I feel like you're blocking any attempts that this person has. You're dropping the devil, saying enough of you. And it also can be that this person comes in and out, in and out, in and out of your life, and that's a bunch of happy horse shit. We don't like that. No. It's looking like water signs for you guys. All right, let's see what the Wookiee has for singles. Breast play. Okay. Imprint. Imprint on your heart. Aww. That's sweet. What else you got? What else you got? I'm working on. We have a tomboy or a tom girl. That is alternative, shall we say? A fly dresser and fake. Uh oh, we don't want the fake. I'll put the fake over here. Let's try to avoid the fake. So you have the overall energy of the fool. So it can be an Aries cut of the deck. You have justice. This can be the right one, but it feels like meeting somebody new can be a Libra. So it's there again, that this uh, new, jumping in, taking a chance, feeling like it could be a right one for you, but it's taking accountability for one's yeah. actions. And this is definitely somebody that would be interested in keeping things balanced. So let's see what we have with the overall energy of the fool. That's jumping in, taking a chance. Source who's coming towards our singles. Woo! Went flying. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What does this person think of our Leos? The lovers. Ooh. This is somebody that's definitely picking you, saying that you feel like you are the right choice for them. Somebody that wants to have that bond. So they jump in and they get feelings big time. Intent is to be content. So they want to be happy with you. Outcome. Alright, you have the eight of coin. This person definitely plans on sticking around. 
This is somebody that's like, I want to be happy. If I'm happy, I stick around. You are not going to be treated like an option. This is definitely making sure that this isn't a choice between two people and they want to jump in with the Aries, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Your thoughts on this new fool that looks like fun? Star, you have hope here. Daydreaming. Wishes fulfilled can be an Aquarius. King of Wands, sexually interested. Somebody that is mature, definitely a real go-getter. This is somebody that you see as very confident. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And it makes you feel restless. Maybe for something over here. <laughs> this is definitely saying that I am interested and sexually very, very interested. You might feel like they, you have a little bit of a feeling of making sure that they're not a player. But with the overall energy of the fool, I feel, no, cut of the deck, you got the hair font. This person definitely has intention of long term, has scruples, morals, values similar to yours. This is somebody that is going to stick around, but you are wondering. It's like, I, yeah, you make me feel a little bit leery because you're so interested in this person. Why do we have the feeling of restlessness? clarify that you shouldn't you shouldn't you get the ten of cups it's like all of your concerns are going to be laid to rest I mean it doesn't look like it needs to be a concern at all this person could be a little bit immature once in a while but once the communication opens up boom 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 getting those arrows you're breaking down your walls this looks very nice one more for the Knight of Wands. That also can be an ex that's coming in to try to stick their nose into shit. So let's see. One more for the Knight of Wands. I really just feel like it's the same person. Just, you know, they're almost acting like a little kid. Just so excited. Cut of the deck, you have the Three of Coin. This is somebody that does want to, they think the same way that you do. They're feeling the same way that you do. They want to try to work things out. They want this to move forward. Wheel of Fortune right underneath of that. Good luck moving forward. Very nice energy. Well, that was quick. This is somebody that wants to put a focus on you. They're very focused on you. They're very focused in this connection. That's really nice. And you're saying, cuddle fuck sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. So once they break down your walls, they can be a little bit kiddish and playful. Aries Leo Sagittarius, Aries Leo Sagittarius. They can be at a physical distance. But they are, it's like you just won't even be able to stop them from blah, 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 blah. outgoing, I'm feeling. Heavy on the Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sag, a lot of fire up here, a lot of passion. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Don't be so restless about this. This person definitely is interested in you. This was just for a sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Have faith. Because this is looking absolutely sweet. Gemini, Aquarius, and Aries. Let's get an answer on when this person might be coming your direction. Okay, source. When, when, when. You got very soon. And one to two months. January peaked its little nose out too. All right, my Leos, that looks absolutely fantastic. On we go. Okay, Virgos, elemental quickies. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Ooh. This is somebody that deep down has a crush on you and has a lot of faith, but they're taking this very seriously. They're really thinking about it. It can be an Aquarius or a Virgo. They want to cuddle fuck. This is somebody that wants to merge. They want to get on the same page with you. Now, it can be a brand new chapter. It can be somebody that's a little on the shy side. Or it can be a reconciliation that somebody's really learned a lesson. Let's see, how do you view them? You're interested in getting to know this person. So this could go somewhere. So that definitely feels newer. So we have Sagittarius, Virgo, and Aquarius. Hope for dating. That person can be um, a homebody too, by the way, with temperance, staying in, Netflix chill. The hermit can be very introverted. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. All right. 
Okay, I, this person isn't talking. No. It's like they tried to make an offer to you, and it just seems like you went, nah, friend zone. I just don't think that you're interested. When it comes to this person, you could be stuck on somebody else. What's in it? Yeah, you're just stuck on heartache. So, if there was a time out between this person and they're thinking about coming your direction, it seems like that you're just going to friend zone them. Mm -mm. It's like, ta-ta, not dealing with it. This could have been somebody that had hurt you in the past, and you're like, nah, uh-uh. We haven't been talking too long. What's the point now? All right, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, here's the heartache. This is somebody that shit ain't going so well, but they're stuck. They did this shit to themselves. They could have made a bad choice. Now they want more attention from you, and they don't want this to be done. Look at that crap. I think you're pissed off and telling them to please go the fuck away. This is like, I'm not dealing with your manipulation and your bullshit anymore. It's like, um, you can watch from afar. I'm holding it in. I'm not talking to you. I'm keeping my emotions to myself. This is not somebody that you're stroking ego on at all. It's like, no, no, don't make any moves on me. You broke my heart. I don't care if you're over me or not, but they are stuck. Things just didn't go so well. This seems like they made a bad choice and it didn't go so good. Could have been third party influence, but restless as hell and you're basically telling them to piss up a rope. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, King of Pentacles. What else? What else? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, this is somebody that dates with intention of long term. So they have an offer for you. This is somebody that wants long term. So it starts with dating. This is somebody that would treat you incredible, okay? They put you up on a pedestal. They could be very protective over you, but emotions that grow after starting to date. They could have a lot of money, just say it. A lot of coins up here. Abundance galore. That's also family and home, and this this King of Pentacles dates with intention of sticking around, and then growing feelings. So Libra, Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, very intense. They definitely are a planner and very materialistic, but very homebound. All right, let's see what the Wookiees got for singles. Softly pull my hair and kiss me. Aww, romantic. Sexually bewitched. Okay, and crazy. Time for the interesting <laughs> shit. <laughs> what you All got? Right. What you got? So, we got a hazel eyed manifester. Ooh. That is tall. Oops. With braids. With, with braids that is tall. Hmm. I like the manifester. Very nice. You would. I would. Of course I would. All right. So you have the overall energy of strength. Now that can be a Leo coming your direction to talk. This is really quick changes, really fast movement, fast action. Somebody that speaks up, speaks their mind. I feel like they're very passionate has a lot of courage and definitely interested in you. Cut of the deck, you have the Six of Pentacles, somebody that wants things to be generous. They want it to be giving. See the equality here with the scales? It's almost like the Justice card, wanting balance. So that looks very nice. This person's very giving in a connection. That's the overall energy. So let's see who could be coming your direction. Source. Okay. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Libra. Th their interest. Ooh, this is somebody that wants to, very optimistic to move things forward with you, okay? It's like, I want to make a choice. I feel like this would pay off. I feel like this is a sure thing. I'm very sexually fascinated with you. What is their long-term intention? Long-term intention. Oh, my. <laughs> To make you the significant other. This is somebody that has very serious intention. And there's that six, okay? So wanting things to be balanced. This is somebody that Mr. and Mrs., okay? They want a connection that is very balanced, very balanced, very, very balanced. They want 
Oh my, look at that. Bottom of the deck. Ha! Huh. I'm going to put that out, but I'm gonna leave it as mutual. What is that? Aerozeal Sagittarius, Four of Wands, can be a soulmate. Okay, so this person is looking for their soulmate. Courage, strength, can be a Leo, cut of the deck, Ten of Pentacles. This person means long term. They also can be financially well off. I'm going to put that back in. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, what will you think of this new person? What will you think of this new person? This is somebody that would make you feel content. It's like, ooh, wish fulfilled. I'm digging it. This is somebody that you're willing to put in a lot of work with. Do we need to put in a lot of work with this person's source? All right, what's the snag? There's a feeling of a burden here. What's the snag? Knight of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Now, you might feel like they take too long to commit. I don't see that. <laughs> I don't see that at all. Does this person get cold feet? No, that's just for a yes, no. So, no, they don't get cold feet. Why the Nine of Wands? It's like you need to believe more in this person because they are offering it. It just seems like you've been through so much other shit that you're wondering, is this actually going to go somewhere and get off the ground? You could feel like they take things too slow, but this is somebody that's going to pay attention to you and you're going to want to reciprocate it. You're going to fall in love. That's saying that they're, you're using your intuition, but there is love to be had here with this person. You just have to make the, make it a priority. This is saying, yes, they have a two, you have a two. It's making it your priority. It's a choice, but it's a new path. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person is a new opportunity. It looks very nice. It just seems like you're a little bit leery on what their intentions are. It's pretty normal, typical dating, honestly. But in the general, they make you happy. They make you feel good. It you know puts a zing in your butterflies in your belly just a little bit of a feeling like I it's almost like you're holding on to crap from the past okay overthinking things with the world you could have a Taurus Leo Scorpio Aquarius a lot of Taurus Taurus Virgo and Capricorn in here this is somebody that has the same priorities and this yes can go all the way it seems like this person really wants to be acknowledged and vice versa and that they would be willing to, you know, work through hurdles, work through problems with you and that you could, using your intuition, but you could fall in love with this person. This is somebody that it could get really deep. This is saying, soulmate. This looks beautiful. It really does. It just seems that you're a little more leery. They also can have a little bit of resting bitch face going on. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They can just be an air sign, but they can seem or come off very strong. They're strong, all right. They want to be supportive. They want somebody in their life that accepts them the way they are, and they want to make you significant other. That can go into marriage. This is very nice. Ups and downs, normal crap. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, heavy on the commitment, potentially there, Taurus, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio is just for an answer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this person's got a lot of courage, that's emotional ties as well, you have very nice energy, can be a Leo, let's get a timing card, that was, that's nice energy, does look like this will person will make your fur purr. All right. Timing. Okay. Patience is the key. And then you got February. So a little bit of a wait, but the patience is the key. I do believe is that this person, it might take a little bit to get them to open up and really show you what they're all about. But it sure the hell looks good. It's like they, they have their intentions in the back of their head, but they not might not verbalize it right away is what I'm feeling they need to say. All right, Virgos, very nice energy. On we go. Okay, Wookiee crew. On we go. If you are dealing with the element of Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, fire, fire, fire. All right, you got temperance reversed here. This person's impatience as hell. What else? 
kind of came out sideways. Very impatient and watching you like a hawk. This is somebody that doesn't have the nerve to come your direction and talk to you. Hmm. Why are they pussyfooting around? Because you dropped them. You know, this is somebody that you told that you didn't want to deal with their toxic shit, possibly even emotional issues or drinking alcoholic bullshit. This is somebody that you just you know. You said, no, I, I can't deal with this shit anymore. Things aren't going so well for them. I, You know, you can't even make poke fun at this person because it does seem like they have either a chemical imbalance, an alcohol issue, something not so good, but very impatient. No, 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 no. I'd say be leery on anybody wanting to come back that has an issue like that. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Okay. You got the magician, somebody that feels like they're going to make a move on you, offer you some lovey-dovey. Okay, and then the Eight of Swords. This is somebody that's stuck on you, can't get you out of their head. How do you view them? With love. So this can be an ex coming back around, trying to manifest the two of you back together. They don't feel like this is done. That's the world reversed. They don't feel like this is complete. Cycle, not but you, I mean, it could also be a failed reconciliation, but this is somebody that you still have feelings for, so it does seem like they're coming your way. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Knight of Cups, Reverse, two more. That you're done with, okay. So it can be a Scorpio as well. This person's a liar pants. This is somebody that you dropped because you couldn't trust them. You felt like you wasted your fucking time. They could have been a real control freak, but this is somebody that's disappointed because they didn't get their way. They also might tell you anything to try to get back under your good graces and to try to get back together with you, but you're done with it. You're saying, waste of time, you're full of shit, and I don't trust you. Ugh. All right, heavy on the Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Source. All right, it's a little better. Four of Rods. It's a feeling of a soulmate can be bliss, acknowledgement. This is somebody that wants to initiate contact. They want to move things forward with you. Heavy on the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Can be meeting at a gathering. Oh, my. This is somebody that definitely has intention of bringing the two of you together, but it does look like groups of people. So this can be out and about. This does look like that you would be like, yeah, bring it on. This is sun. Hello, we like the sun. The feeling of happiness and joy. Them initiating or you initiating doesn't even matter which one. And then you have right underneath of that possibly a Gemini, but you have the uh, lover's card here. So it does look like a, that it could go into a deep bomb, but this is somebody that is really digging you. It's like making the move on you can be at a party or a gathering, but it also can be a twin flame soulmate. This is love. This is affection. This is new dating. I like it, like it, like it, like it, like it. All right, let us see what the Wookiees got for singles today. You are so delicious. Let's misbehave. Oh, fun. Yeah. <laughs> now comes the real fun. There's a height difference between you and a blonde female with blue eyes. Who's a drinker? Oh, Good luck with that one. Let's call him a social drinker. Yeah. Oh. Don't piss on our parade. So blonde, We're from Wisconsin. male or female. Yes, Wisconsin is full of uh, people that like to drink plenty. Okay, so yeah, you... Better to do all winter. That's true. Nothing better to do all winter besides make babies and drink. So you have the overall energy of the magician. That's initiation. That's having everything that you need to be able to move forward, do ever, anything you want. It's like having control over the situation, control over yourself, your emotions whatever actions you take, but it's also manifestation. So, wow, okay? It's like, I can have anything I want. Cut of the deck, you have the Eight yes, of Wands. 
Yes, you can. Yes, you can. This is positive action. Speaking up. Messages one after another. Can be a physical distance between you and this person. Can be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. So, Source, who is coming towards our singles? Singles. Who is coming towards our singles? All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We're not even going to bother saying that that can be long term. But this person's intention is to have somebody that they love. Their, their intention is use their intuition. They have a lot to offer. Strong emotions, deep connection. Somebody very caring, devoted, emotionally available, creative. Right underneath of oh my, right underneath of that, and right underneath of that, and right underneath of that. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so you have the Empress. This is somebody can be a Libra, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Gemini. This person intends on making you a significant other, or they have the impression of you that this could go all the way. Then you have, right after that, the world. A feeling that this is a new chapter and wanting to make a passionate bond with you. They're hoping you'll go all the way. Wow. Yeah, they're hoping you'll go all the way, all right. A lot yeah. of passion. So it can be a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini. We're going to leave strength in here and see what we get. But this person is definitely just wowed by you. Completely in awe. They're like, I could definitely see being with this person. Let's plant the seeds and see where it goes. Wanting to have somebody that they have a deep bond with. And then peeking over here, we have the world. That's a new chapter. So this, yes, definitely new dating that moves forward. This person's intention is great. All right, let's see how you view them. How will you view them? All right. So this is somebody that you could meet out and about. This is somebody that you could want deep emotions for and that you feel like there's stability. So it can be an Aries, but with the Aries Emperor energy, you have possibly meeting somebody soon, okay? Then you have, with the cut of the deck, Justice. You got your own card, feeling like, oh my. And right under that, you have the Ten of Cups and the King of Cups. You have a mutual match, and then we're at the Eight of Wands again. We can quit there. We don't even need to go any further. This can be somebody that is a homebody with a hermit here, can be a little shy, reserved, but wanting to get deep with the connection, wanting to bring it together. The Three of Cups is groups of people, so it can be meeting them out at a gathering. This is meeting somebody with the attributes of all four kings or queens. This is feeling like it definitely is something that pays off. Somebody that comes at you right can be feeling like this is my this is my person. Wow. Wanting long-term dating and feeling like you're a good connection. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is, and they're all upright. They're all upright. So basically, yeah, a la carte, take your pick. There's somebody coming in to initiate or you're initiating. It doesn't matter who the hell is initiating because this is beautiful energy for somebody that is fair, balanced, takes accountability for their actions, has a lot to offer, is very passionate, very caring, very giving. And you using your head and your heart and being emotionally available and open to this dating. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Hallelujah. Chorus type energy. Wow. So this is something that you'll give a lot of thought to. But uh, what serious connection doesn't have that? So we have Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Can be a Libra, Virgo, Aries. Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra again. Wow. And this is something that if you are manifesting, you're doing a damn good job. You're doing a damn good job. And by the way, there are some cups in here. So that person can be a drinker, but I don't see anything to excess. I don't. Uh-uh. Wow. Okay, well, let's get a freaking diamond card. Source. When do we meet Mr. or Ms. Wright? All right, we have June and then nine to six months. So you could meet them in June and things get a little hot and heavier in nine to six months, but a little bit of a wait. All right, Libra's very nice energy. On we go. Okay, so I'm sharing this with Scorpio because we were just incidentally talking about our cards for singles and one of them is Talk Dirty to Me. 
And so I was joking around with the Wookiee and the Wookiee, his idea of talking dirty is... Laundry! Dishes! Laundry, dishes, toilet. I'm like, really? You ever want to have sex again? Okay. Elemental quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, sad. Yeah, that's fun in the bedroom. That'd be the end of that excursion. Seven of Wands. All right. Why do we have defensiveness? What is this person sticking up for? This person's kind of intimidated by you, but what do they, what do they want? What do they want? Because they're just watching you, wondering what the hell you're up to. They're very serious. Why are they irritated? Serious. Okay, so they might have been shot down. You might have told them that you're just not interested and you're going, and you might have friends on them. Cut of the deck, you have the Page of Pentacles. So it's like, yeah, I never really considered you that way. And they don't look like they're real happy, but they're still watching you, stalking you. It just seems like you're you're telling them, I'm looking for something else. Okay, I mean, it's not like you're letting them down evilly, but they do have a crush on you and you broke their little, little Twitter page heart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <laughs> Gemini, that person could get a little bit stalkerish because they really are irritated, so just be careful. Okay, so you have the hangman and the king of cups. This person could be having an epiphany that they actually have feelings for you and that they want to come your direction. One more for the hanged man. Because that's not any action, but it's looking like, let's leave the baggage behind you. I know what I want. So if this person had acted like they didn't know what they want, and this is somebody that really has put, come here. A lot of thought into it, waiting for the, you know, epiphany to come to them. It's like, well, it's finally come to them. I, I don't want anybody else. I want to put baggage behind us. I want to move into smoother waters. I care about you. This is somebody that wants a reconciliation. They want to drop the bullshit from the past. This is definitely an X. So that's going to be up to you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, you got the Four of Cups reversed, and then you have Justice. So it can be a Libra. This person might be thinking you're getting attention from other people, and they're a little on the jelly side. What else? They want your acknowledgement. They want to reconcile. But they could be feeling like you have an interest or your eyeball on somebody else. So it's almost like they're coming in like your territory. How do you view this person? It's going to be a little bit confusing. It's going to be like any, meeny, miny, mo. It's like, I thought you were done. I thought we were done. Yeah, this is saying that you, I thought you dropped this with me. I thought we were done and now you're coming back in. It shows that they were slow to begin with. Now they want to be acknowledged and they want to put the moves on you. And you're like, really? Heavy on the Libra there and Gemini. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. King of Coin. What does the King of Coin want from our Scorpios? Drop the drama. This is somebody that's really regretting dropping you. They're regretting all the shitty words that they said. And they're still trying to have faith that the two of you can reconcile. So I believe they are going to be chasing you. This is somebody that really, really regrets. They could have been a player too. That or they acted too spontaneous with with this five of swords here, I'm feeling that they could have been too spontaneous and were acting kind of like a show off and got real argumentative and just mute and cut it out. And they afterwards went, oh, I shouldn't have done that. This is somebody that really regrets what the hell they did. And they're determined to have you back as a partner. So that could be, they have a lot of faith. This also can be making promises, okay? But they are regretting, okay? So let's see what the Wookiee has for singles today. You know, Mr. Dirty Talk himself. The kitchen floor. Oh my God. The kitchen floor. Coffee in the morning. Coffee in the morning. Lip bits. And lip bits. Okay. All right. Time for the fun shit. Mm. All right. So we have... 
a curly hair male, a blonde male, or female, or female. It is a stoner, <laughs> and they have a funny personality. Well, I would say they probably have a very funny personality. All right, let's grab a clean deck. Okay, so your overall energy is justice. So having things your way or the highway. Cut of the deck, it's like you're, you're deciding what to invest in. But that can mean that you're ready to plant your seeds somewhere and see how things grow. The overall energy of having somebody, hopefully, it's like waiting for the right person for you. But it can be Libra. So what is coming towards our single source? Uh, dirty toilet. Mm. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's this person's intention? High Priestess. Okay. This is somebody that wants to get to know you, but they could be on the shy side. The High Priestess. They want to talk, do they? <laughs> Get out of here. This is somebody that does consider you wish fulfillment, but it feels like they're holding back a little bit. They have a lot of interest. You have all major arcana up here. They have a lot of interest in you. They can feel that you are a caring, nurturing person, but they're... Why do we have the hangman? Can just be delays. Why why do we have the feeling of a delay? They don't want to make a big offer just yet. They want to make sure that you're the real deal. Check that out. The Empress waits for the Emperor. So this is somebody that is looking for something serious. So they wanna it's like I'm gonna hold back. Can you talk the talk? Oh my Will you walk the walk? Get out of my tarot area. How do you view this person? Death. Why death? This can be somebody that's not like your usual type, but that's a transformation. Oh no, I think there's a history here. How do you actually feel about this person? They would be contentment to you. But they're also, there's this feeling with that two of swords there, it's a hard choice to make. It also might be like, who's going to make the first move here? It's like this feeling of, is this even getting off the damn ground? You got the queen of cups here and you have the ace of cups. They have the ace of coin. It feels like you got a stalemate between two people that are both waiting for the other to make a move. Where does this go? Okay, one more for the world. There needs to be more. The two of you haven't even gotten off the fucking ground, and you need to have things more balanced because neither one of you want to budge. Why the feeling of holding back? I feel like you're unsure because you don't want to be hurt. They're unsure because they don't want to be hurt. You don't, you don't want a player, and they don't want somebody that leaves them. And you both don't have any clue. You got to get to know each other better. This is saying acknowledge more and talk more. More communication. This is being able to get over hurdles. And you already have a hurdle getting right off the damn ground. Or dirty talk. And then you have the fool here. So this is new dating. But there's the feeling of hesitancy and fear. You need to chill. Both of the you and this person both need to chill the hell out and have some fun with each other and actually enjoy each other's company. Let go of this feeling of what are you up to and are you going to do to me what other people have done or are you going to be a player and they're going are you going to bail are you going to take off are you going to actually plant your chariot and stay put both of you have you're afraid of an ending before it even gets off the ground let them be funny and entertain you this is definitely somebody that you're like who's making the first move but at the same time happiness love love a new chapter very confusing energy and they're holding back too now we're not counting the queen of swords because that was just for sign and that's gemini libra aquarius this person's all up in their head they don't know what to make of you go make a fool it's of yourself a, and pretty much fun. go make a fool of yourself go have some fun because this person's intention is just as good as yours 
It's very nice in tension. It does look like it can get off the ground. It just seems like it's a, it's a rocky start because neither one of you know what the other one means. And both having fear factors about being hurt. This still, to me, it looks like balance, okay? It feels like the two of you would balance each other out a lot, especially with your fears. So you have to try to let go of the fear and just kind of take a chance. Cut the Live rope. Live your fucking Hallmark movie, damn it. Live your Hallmark movie. This is somebody that's got a lot of hope, a lot of faith. I'm telling you. This looks like it would be a terrific connection. So Libra, Taurus, Aquarius... Heavy Pisces, Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person would make you feel happy and content. Happy and content. It's new dating. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Heavy Pisces. This person's not a player. You got to get that out of your head. And they got to get out of your head that you're just going to bail. You're both afraid of it not getting off the ground and afraid of jumping in and taking a chance. This is you saying, who's making the first move? You do it. No, you do it. Seriously, it's like two teenagers going, you do it. You put the tack on the teacher's chair. No, you do it. And you got two people that are curious in each other with a lot of hope. Seriously. It would be a Hallmark Christmas movie. Miracle. Libra, very heavily. Okay, Christmas miracle. You'd be quiet over there. It's no. about enough out of you. All right. It's Timing. You have three to four months. And then you also have at the bottom of the deck a timed surprise. Very nice energy, Scorpio. Try not to push somebody away because you're afraid of what other people have put you through. All right. On we go. Okay, Sagittarius says, Elemental Quickies, if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or another Sagittarius. Two more. One more. Okay. All right. Very serious. Very serious. This person wants acknowledgement from you. They want to acknowledge you. They want mutual respect. They're coming on to you. They have a serious offer. They want long-term dating. Very nice. Bottom of the deck, you have the Empress. Very serious. So it can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the resting bitch face here. But this is definitely somebody that wants long-term dating. Got a crush on you. Their intention is good. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Not over you. Still love you. Curious if you'd want to get back together. How do you view this person? Yep, that's a reconciliation attempt there. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, frustration. Not as confused as they had been, but one more. Ah, it's the same person wanting to come back. They have an apology. They're very frustrated that you might not be even talking to them right now. They want to break the silence. They want to talk this out. Seriously. How do you view this person? Oof. One more. Nah, you just don't trust them. You're like, I'm looking for something a lot more serious, and I think you could be a player yet. This is somebody that you didn't trust anyway. They could have abandoned you in and out real fast. You know, it could have been a, a connection that's been very on and off, and you're like, no more. All right, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorns. That's somebody, now it doesn't have to be an ex coming back, but it certainly can be. This is somebody that still considers you with a lot of love, very caring, good memories. Can be somebody that you re-encounter. This person's got a lot of faith. Looks like a reconciliation attempt to me. That's saying that things need to be more even. This person needs to... You got the cut of the deck, you have contentment. So are you going to feel this way? Because that's what it's showing. So that's saying that this person would be the apple of your eyeball, but they need to be more fair, more balanced. Obviously, if they're coming back with this, there's a reason that they had left in the first place or the reason that you had left. So we're going to assume that there needs to be more hope and faith. 
that they need to put more work into the connection but there is passion here and there is there is love so using your intuition but that does look nice all right let's see what the wookie has for singles blindfolds Ooh. until the sun comes up oh my saggies i didn't know <laughs> All right, so we have salt and pepper hair, slim, dark hair, with a distinctive haircut. Distinctive haircut. Hmm. How the fuck does it? Mm, never mind. These are alternatives, so it also can be a dark-haired female. All I right. Just said dark hair. Oh, hush, Wookie. No. Okay, so you guys have the overall energy of justice. With the cut of the deck, you hey, have. Bro. No. No, no, no. Possibly a Gemini here with the lover's card. So this can be a deep bond with somebody that feels like they're the right person for you that is coming your way. But it's wanting the right person and waiting until you have that. Source, who is coming towards our Sagis? Ooh, strength. Can be a Leo. Deep, passionate bonds. Possibly holding back a little bit. So you got Libra and Leo. Intention. Ooh, they're manifesting. This is somebody that is very good at controlling themselves. <laughs> very good at controlling themselves. But they definitely want to initiate contact. They want to have a piece of your rump. This is somebody that does want long-term or you meet them at a gathering. Tens seem to be very indicative of gatherings and a lot of people, groups of people. Bottom of the deck, look at this. You have love and this is somebody that wants you to pick them and move things forward. And then you got Cuddlefuck with the intent of long-term. I mean... Holy crap. Well, wow. So, wow. They consider you very loving. They want to love somebody. They're definitely feeling like they want you as an option. They want to spend time to get to know you. This is somebody that merges. They're very patient. Very patient. Very patient. Willing to wait. <sighs> How do you view this person? You're curious too. So it's like Aries Leo Sagittarius. I am eager to get to know you. Are you going to be sticking around? This is somebody that it's like uh, you want them to know. It's like I'm eager to get to know you and I really want to move this forward. Holy man. Look at this. Look at this energy. This is saying that you have a lot of passion towards this person. Consider them to be a significant other. You have a match. Wow. Woo. So it's like, bring it on. I want to be happy. Let's celebrate. This can be, again, that feeling of um, groups of people out celebrating something to celebrate. That's beautiful energy. I don't feel like this is a reconciliation. I feel like this is new energy, especially with the curiosity here that you have. You're so interested in them. It's like you're just waiting for them to initiate contact and bring in something that is worth your while. And it sure the hell looks like they, you have all uprights. Every single one is an upright. Wow. So this would go into a new chapter of dating. Cut of the deck. That's messaging that is positive. This is you eagerly awaiting their messages. This is beautiful energy. You can't even touch this. This is new dating all the way. So we have merging, we have passion, passion, a lot of passion, optimism, and very forward. Wow. Get and some. yeah, kind of get some is right here. Blindfolds look like fun. So you have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy on the Sagittarius. This is definitely somebody that's picking you, will be very patient, very patient. I feel like you could be meeting them at a gathering, heavy on the Leo. This is somebody that feels like you could be the one and vice versa with your overall energy of the justice card. 
very even. It's almost like you're mirroring each other. Excited to get to know each other. This is really awesome energy. Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo. That's a lot of willpower. Oof. That's like, I will have. And you're saying the same thing. Onward, ye huskies. Let's have some of that. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, and Libra. Wow. What a beautiful reading. Okay, let's get a timing card. Source. Ooh, well that came out quick. You have three to four months and a timed surprise. Okay, wow, that was amazing. Take that one to heart. I hope that resonates for everybody. On we go. All right, Capricorns, let's see what we have for you today. Elemental quickies if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Ooh, serious offer. Heavy on the Taurus. This is a decent person. They're thinking of coming at you with the impression that you are as well and they want long-term dating they aren't messing around at all they're going to start small to see if you're interested but their intention is big what will you think you're like yep i'm game bring it up bring it up with me this is saying that you feel the same way about them so this is something taking it slow getting to know each other but it sure the hell does have good intention on it heavy on the taurus Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Clarity, truth, honesty, a breakthrough. Very willful. A new opportunity. Ooh. Really pondering. It's like waiting for those ships to come in. This is another one that you could have long-term, you know, the thoughts of long-term with or that they meet you at a gathering. One more. Come here. Knight of Cups and the Six of Wands. So that's being acknowledged. Now this is paying attention to you. I really still feel like there's a gathering here. And they're kind of like, ooh, look at you. So this is the intention. I mean, this is like, I will ask you out. I want to be acknowledged. I want to pay attention to you. I feel like this is a good thing. It's good going, but they're willing to wait. How do you view them? Cut of the deck. Definitely could meet this person at a gathering or a party, but your intention, <laughs> if you've been manifesting a new partner that's right for you, it's looking like there's a good opportunity coming your way. You got the two of cups, so dating, yes. Very nice energy thus far. Holy man. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right. I'm restless. I want to come back been too long I'm sick of waiting but still willing to put the effort into it so this person still has faith even though they know they have to put a lot of work into it with you they're not sure how you feel how do you feel I feel like you're holding back well that's saying that you want this person back or you want them to be eaten by a big fish but you're going back and forth about it you're kind of going, are you going to be even? Are you going to be generous? Are you, you know, if you can't make me content, if we can't be content together, then no. So it's something that you're definitely going to go back and forth about in your mind for a while before you just say yes. But do you want them to be eaten by a big fish? Otherwise, that's a reconciliation. Very nice energy, guys. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Very strategic, doesn't express his feelings just right off the top of his, uh-oh, uh-oh. This person has a lot of hope and faith and a lot of passion, but I'm still wondering if they have more than one option. You got two players up here, and one could be a player, and it's like, which one is worthy? That's for you to decide, but it seems like there's more than one. This one also can be a little bit irritated because they think that you're seeing other people, which you have every right to do so. You know, you have every right to do so. Cut of the deck. <laughs> oh, I think this one wants to come back. 
Yeah. So I'm thinking you got Mr. Serious, Ms. Serious Pants going, I still have faith in us. And they're saying, but I think that you are seeing somebody else and have other options and not real thrilled about it, but they still have hope and faith. I can also be making promises to try to get you back. Goodness gracious me, oh my. All right, let's see what the Wookiee's got for you. If you could see the evil smile on his face. You kinky little devils, you. <laughs> Tight body grip. Okay. I want to tie you up and play. Oh. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, this should be interesting. Give them the cards already. <laughs> yeah, no, you got it right. Yes, no one thinks that. All right, so we got a beer belly, the okay. divine feminine, a beard, so I guess we're going for the bearded lady, and a brown hair male. Or, or female, and hopefully not the bearded lady. <laughs> okay, so you have the overall energy of the Empress. Knowing your value, knowing your worth, there's somebody that has a crush on you. Could be a secret crush, and they're willing to wait. But this is anticipation. Ooh, the excitement. Ooh, the ideas they have for the future. So it can be a Libra or a Taurus, but somebody's definitely got their eyeball on you. You might not even be aware of it. No, I don't think you are. You got the high priestess right underneath of it. All right, so who is coming towards our Cappies? Who's coming towards our Capricorn source? Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What is their intention? Seven of coins. I want to see where this can go. I want to invest. I'm looking for somebody long term. How about you? This is someone that wants a committed relationship. They want to take things slow. Smart. Where does this go? How is this person's feelings to the bedroom? Yeah, that would probably be one. Okay. They feel like the two of you would be very happy together. So they're ready to rock and roll. They're like, let's give it a shot. You seem like a decent person. You got the magician at the bottom of the deck. One of the other is manifesting this connection. So how do you view them? Oh, boy. Oh, you have a lot of passion towards this person and you want absolute clarity. So it's like, yes, I am sexually attracted to you, but I'm having nothing but the best. Cut of the deck. Your feelings could definitely grow for this person. Where, where does this go, Source? Will Capricorn be this interested? Yep. You, I mean, you're one-upping them with the eight of coins. They have the seven. Let's see how this takes off. You have the eight. You want to continue seeing them. You're like, I really got the hots for you. I think I could fall in love. Let's start dating. And I feel like this is good luck. I'm so glad that I met you. Right underneath of that, you got the ten of cups. So that can be meeting at a gathering. But that can be commitment as well. Look at the way that these two look at each other. You guys have beautiful energy for new dating. But you definitely, it's like very willful. It's like, I will have this and I will have nothing but the best. And it sure the hell looks like you would be impressed with the Empress. This is knowing your value and your worth and being treated that way. This is somebody that respects their significant other. Have fun with your kink, buddy. <sighs> yes, have fun with your kink, buddy. This is very nice energy for a new connection. Very nice. Two of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Moving forward, feeling like it's good luck. This person digs you, you dig them. They feel like you're a decent person with good morals and values like them. This could lead to something long-term, can be marriage. I hate to pound too much sunshine up your ass, but it sure the hell looks good. Leo, Shh. Taurus, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Being emotionally available to this person and manifestation and wow, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It pays to hold back until you meet the right one. Libra, Taurus, beautiful energy. I'm not so sure about the beer belly, but you know, nothing wrong with the beer belly. All right, timing cards, source. When, when, when do we meet Prince or Princess Charming? 
All right, you have two cards. You have three to four months and then 11 to 12 months. So you could meet them in three or four months and it takes off the ground up to a year. Okay, that's what we have, Cappies. That was pretty, pretty damn sweet. On we go. Okay, Aquarius. Elemental quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Source. What do we have for fire signs? Oh, are they stubborn with you? There we go. Knight of Cups did a little dance. We're going to take that one kind of sideways. You got a little bit of wishy-washy energy here. This person's curious, though. Curious on how you're feeling about them. So like, do you do you care about me or not? So they're waiting. They're trying to decide what the hell to do. They're curious. Are you interested or not? One more for the hangman. Ah, ha ha ha. They want you to change their. They want you to change your mind. They want a new opportunity. So that's this. Um, who's budging first? They want you to change your mind. It's like um, I have this epiphany that I still have feelings for you, or whatever the case may be. But they all of a sudden are like, I want to approach you, but I'm not sure how you feel. How do you feel? This is something that you're either going to ignore and bury yourself in work or that you consider somebody that you're going to take seriously and really bitch their head off, but that you'd be willing to try again. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Queen of Wands. I shall chase you. I am sexually attracted to you. I think you are outgoing. I want a piece of you. This is somebody that's going back and forth in their mind. Now, I'm wondering if they're actually single. I don't like it. Is this person single? Upright? Yes. They are single, but they're a fucking player. Ah, now nah, be careful with that. The Queen of Wands sometimes can be an attention hole, and I'm still wondering if they're playing like... I'm single and they're playing more than one person, like they're juggling more than one. I would be careful. I think they're giving to more than one person and you would be one of two, maybe more. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. No players, thank you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Judgment. All right, what's this person want to bring up? Okay. They want you to open up and have this connection back. So it's an attempt at a reconciliation. They want the family back. This person could have put you in a third party situation. They were talking shit, but they still love you. They still love you. You, on the other hand, think they're a bossy, the last hole. It's like you still have passion and there are still emotions here, but you got strength reversed. So you feel like they could be a bit on the bossy side, sometimes jealous. But I'm thinking that they put you in a third-party situation and that you're pissed off. This is somebody that made you feel inept and doubt yourself. Heavy on the Leo. It's underneath of that. Yeah, you're really guarded, afraid of being hurt again. Now, this doesn't have to be a third-party situation, but they were at least talking smack behind your back. And I don't feel like you want to, you know, open up to them right now. You might hear them out because you got the Ten of Cups here. Was that, I think we, yeah, we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, yeah. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I push all the cards together. My bad if I'm doing it twice. All right, let's settle up. Let's start over. Let's compromise. I get too excited. This is somebody that there are no secrets anymore. They had held back their emotions or they did have secrets and they are not keeping them anymore. They want a new passionate beginning. They want to bring you the truth. They want things to be more balanced. So even if I did do Taurus Virgo Capricorn twice, and I have no goddamn clue, this is still the same story. Same story. It's like there was a feeling of conflict with other people. They could have put you in a position of feeling like you were in competition for them. There's no secrets anymore. This person wants a fresh start. If they had lied or snuck off, they want to make up for it. A lot. Sexually and other. But they come at you right. This person also could have gotten a good dose of karma. So heavy on Libra. Passionate. I feel like it's mutual. Aries, 
and Pisces. Okay, let's see what the Wookiee has for singles today. Get on your knees. Ooh. You give me wet dreams. Goodness gracious. Naughty. <laughs> Naughty. Redheaded. Spiritualist. <sighs> Dark. And a cigarette smoker. All right, hope you're not allergic to smoke. So let's see what we have here for you guys. You have the overall energy of the Wheel of Fortune. So moving forward, better luck, things going well. Very nice. Cut of the deck. Knight of Wands. Someone's got the hots. Someone's got the hots for you. Who are you giving wet dreams to, Aquarius? Can be an Aries Leo Sagittarius coming your way that's very persistent, motivated, confident, and good looking. Source, who is coming towards Aquarius? Who is coming their direction? Single, single, single. Okay. Two came out. Aries Leo Sagittarius, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Their intention. Okay. Ace of Discs. They want an opportunity and they want it quick. Now, they can be not so suave with their verbiage. I will say that. The Knight of Swords is very honest, sometimes a little bit brutally. So it can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this person wants to be successful, so they want to get dating off the ground with you. How will their feelings grow? We have the stars, so they would be very optimistic that you would be like something that would pay off. They would be hopeful, wishing, daydreaming about you. Can be an Aquarius, but very positive. They feel better sense. They look forward to. They can feel it in their bones that you could be the right one for them. That kind of energy. Very positive. How do you view this person? How do you view this person? All right. You have the moon. And you have the three of wands. So this is somebody that you could see moving things forward with. But they're a little elusive. So they could be very um, quiet. This can be that you feel like they're holding back. Or it's just the feeling of needing to get to know the person. They're not outgoing and overzealous. They're not like jumping down your pants crazy. Okay. They're mysterious. That's the word. Very mysterious. And then look at this. This is somebody that you could feel a very deep connection with. She said deep. Yes, I did. This is looking really nice. So you have the Ace of Cups. You have... The lovers, that's a very, that's a twin flame soulmate connection. But this is something that you've been waiting a while on and that you've been manifesting. I mean, this is definitely saying you've been working on it, sending out into the universe everything that you want in a partner. This looks like it could go all the way, at least into long-term dating. This looks like it's a decent person, somebody that has the same morals and values that you do. You have the hair font here. It can be a Taurus. It treats you like gold. Libra, Taurus, this is really nice energy that's fair and balanced and honest and for true. This is very nice energy for new dating, but yes, they can be a little elusive and seem very mysterious. But with the overall energy of the Wheel of Fortune, it sure the hell looks like it's good luck. Very nice. Willing to wait for it. It's like you've been waiting for it and in it comes and definitely looking sharp. This is great energy. This has been a great day for Crush. Judgment, new chapter. I mean, beautiful energy. Respect. Putting work into it. Feeling like the feeling's mutual. Definitely interested. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus. Heavy on the Taurus. This person's optimistic and has hope and faith and could be making promises, but we're just going to go with this person's 
yearning and burning and desiring you and very optimistic that this could move forward and it feels like a very passionate bond. It sure the hell looks nice. Now, keep in mind, they could be shitty with their verbiage. Not always the most suave, but let's see. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. And heavy on Pisces, but yeah, nice. They'll keep you wondering once in a while. It could be a little bit, not so much a talker as they are a shower of their emotions. Let's get a timing card. Source, Aquarius. All right, you have May. And then upside down, you got press pause. Apparently that's, don't press pause, so keep going. But it's going to be a little bit of a wait, but it sure the hell looks like it's worth waiting for. That looks really, 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 really nice, Aquarius. On we go. All right, cupcakes, let's see what we have for Pisces. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Two more. One more. Okay. So we got the King of Cups. Very logical with his heart. Holding off a little bit and really being quiet. Now, this person also can want a deep bond and therefore kind of holding back a little bit. That seems kind of new. Bottom of the deck, you got the lover's card. So this is somebody that's looking for a serious relationship. With the hermit, they've put a lot of thought into this. With the hangman, they're kind of holding back. But boy, do they have one hell of an offer. How do you view this person? The empress. Oh, growing emotions. Feeling like it could be the one. Definitely feeling respected. Beautiful energy. Can be a Libra or a Taurus or a Virgo or Pisces there. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Have you missed him, cupcakes, huh? You got the Ten of Cups. Abundance. Emotional abundance. Oh, don't worry. You're going to get more of me than you can handle. Oh, okay. yeah. This is somebody that wants to take things slow. They want to learn about you, and their intent is long-term dating. Long-term. Very reliable. Very serious. Their intention is always long-term dating. They don't just hop from person to person. Very nice. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. The moon. Heavy on the Pisces. Two more. Uh oh. Is this person obsessed with you quietly? Oh, yes, I think they want to reconcile. So if there's been a pause between you and this person, they want to reconcile. They want to that or you want them to be eaten by a big, big fish. But this person's obsessed with you quietly, quietly obsessed with you. They want to continue seeing you. Now, that can be brand new, too. But at the bottom of the deck, let's see how you view them. Hi, Scooby. How do you view this person? the emperor Whew. but somebody that you had an ending with so that's a reconciliation you might think they're a little bit bossy and uptight a little too much starch in their collar but you might be willing to give this a second chance so step on there you know crush their skull if you need to make them get eaten by a fish if you need to but this does look like this person's obsessed with moving this forward and getting back together and making it work putting more work into it, really concentrating on you. They're just obsessed. Where now, they can are. be a bit of a control freak. Just saying. All right, let's see what the Wookiees got for singles. What do you have for the cupcakes? Stripped bear. Oh, naked bodies. Your pheromones turn me on. Natural body scent. Uh, all right. You smell pretty. So, we're going to start with Waves Low Cut Fade. Sharp. Promiscuous. Oh, Lord. Dark Eyes. 
It's like, almost like he's setting me up for failure, Dark you know. Female. We're not having it. Dark or female or male. Okay. Dark eyes, promiscuous. Oh boy, let's hope not. All right, so your overall energy is the hermit. Really making sure that it's the right person coming to you. Really making sure. Cut of the deck. What do we have? Of Eight of show. coins. It's like you want a new chapter, but you're making sure that it's the right person. You've learned enough lessons. That's what I'm feeling there. Can be a Virgo. Who is coming towards our single cupcake? Source? The devil. So Capricorn, what is their intention? It can be obsession, but we're only using that for the sign. So stop it, Wookiee. King of Cups. This is somebody that is logical with love. They think with their head and their heart. And uh, Four of Coins. So this is somebody that's going to want to hold on to you. Wants you to open up to them. Well, let's see how you view them. Let's go that first. What will you think of this new person? Well, that's definitely saying chase me. It's like, oh, you are so pretty. So having the hots for them, but boom, comes as a shock to you. One more for the tower. Why do we have the tower present? Ten of Cups. Okay, so I'm, that's like, wow, I didn't shock at meeting this person. And then you have the Two of Wands. This is making a decision to move this forward. That's really nice energy. <clears throat> this is saying moving it forward slowly. This can be meeting this person at a gathering and it's like, I did not. This doesn't always have to be an ending. It can be just like, I, it comes out of the blue. I didn't expect it. The bottom of the deck. Wow. Wow. Let's pull this out so you can see it. You have the lovers. That's a deep bond between two people. That This is like this, I've been working for this. I've been waiting, 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 waiting. With strength here can be a Leo, but manifesting a lover that is deep, deep bond, okay? Mutual respect. I do not feel like there is an option here or that you're treated like an option, not by them. You might have other options with the two of wands here, but this person's intention is not. So let's, we'll clarify to see if there's more than one, but there's a lot of passion, a lot of passion, and this can be long-term dating and you didn't expect it or you meet them at a gathering. So we're going to put those guys there. Source, is this more than one person? Are it's, you the promiscuous one? Are you? Is it you? Is it more than one? It is more than one. Oh, boy. All right. Tell us about choice number two. Okay. That's someone who has a crush on you. So you got two people that are interested in you. Well... Good luck. That can be why you have this person up here going, I want you to open up to me. This one here has an offer for you too. Yeah, you got two choices. So you have one that's a lot more passionate and one that's a lot more, we're going to say, serious offer. But you're going to have to make the choice. This is on you. So are you being promiscuous? Maybe. You got the prince. So that's the knight of wands here going, uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And that could be that tower of, oh, shit. I didn't expect to meet more than one person that I had interest in. You're going to have to hurt one of them. You're really going to have to think about it. You got one that's really nervous. They might know about the other one and they're going, shit. You have a choice to make. You've got two of coins here going back and forth in your mind. You're really going to have to think about it. Good freaking luck. And then you have, <laughs> you are definitely going to hurt somebody else's feelings. But you have to do what's going to make you the happiest. Heavy on that Leo. But when you open up the communication, I feel like it's going to be the one that you have more of the hots for and that really you open up the communication and they're outgoing. They make you laugh. They're a lot of fun. And it's the one that you're going to want to invest your time in. So it doesn't say which one's which, but we'll go through the, the signs anyway. I really feel like one is 
intimidated by knowing that you have more than one options and it feels like it's you that's got more than one option yep because you're pushing one away you see how she holds with the nine of coins here she holds her hands out like na 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 uh uh na 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 so yeah one you're gonna turn down so we have cancer leo aries leo sagittarius you got choices to make you sure do and then we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly a Gemini, but you have more than one option. And I feel like it's, oh boy, because this can be two options, okay? It's like eeny, meeny, miny, mo. but I feel like the one that you feel more passionate towards is the one that you're going to end up with because they just are more fun, more outgoing. That would be this one here. Make you shush, Wookie. You know, the devil being up here can be a Capricorn, can be a Virgo, but you really are going to have to put a lot, of, you're going to have to go deep inside and really make a, who's going to be best for you? Yes, you're going to end up hurting somebody else, and that's the rude awakening going, shit, okay, you might already know who one of these is, and that's when another one comes along that you're interested in. So, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, heavy on the Gemini, Scorpio, Leo, good luck, because this one is definitely intention of long term. They think with their head and their heart. The other one seems a little less mature, but you never know. That could be a lot of fun, but you get the hots for the first one that came up. So, good freaking luck. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in here as well. Let's get a timing card. In fact, let's get two timing cards. Do we know the first one? So, the one that came up first in the reading. Five to six months. Oh, shit. And then the next one, you got a waste of your time. So, it does seem like that King of Cups, the one that seems to be more passionate, more into the fun of it, that you have more optimism, that strong sexual tension with the strength card there seems to be more your person. But you do have options. Oh, boy. All right, Cupcakes, thanks for watching. Many blessings, and we'll see you next time. Bye, Muffin.